So this is a video on how to uh, open up a JCreator project. We'll look at both opening up a brand new project, but then how do I open up an old project? So you want to start in your startup menu. And so there are a couple of things we're going to do here. Um, I would encourage you to go in and if you click and drag over onto your desktop, it will create a shortcut. Trust me, you're going to want to do that later on um, until uh, your system understands where to find your project. So I would click and drag a shortcut to the desktop so you can see here I have a shortcut to the desktop. So if I click on there, <clears throat> it opens up for me an environment. You always get a tooltip of the day. So I'm going to close the tooltip. Um, here, uh, this workspace looks very similar to programs that uh, we have used before, like C++. Here you can see some of my most recent projects, and we're going to open up our first project. So I'm going to go to File, New, Project. For the first one here, we're going to create just a basic Java application. What's really nice about this is it gives me all of the framework. Now, before you do anything else here, you need to name your um, program. If you want to change the pathway, you can change the pathway. I have mine saving directly to my C, uh, C drive in my users folder, my NCSCADN folder under documents, jcreator. It's creating that path for you. You can see at the end of the extension, it calls it video lesson example. I'm going to finish. Now finish again. So here you can see it creates um, a new project. Here we have some basic code, which we'll take a look at as to how does that compare to our previous experiences. But we have our source code. Um, let's me know what's in there. I have a single .java file in this program. So I can execute it. I do have an executing line of code. So one of two ways I can click run, run project, or I can choose uh, this little button. It was green in the C++ IDE. It's blue in this IDE. But I can run project. We will have to use that run file on occasion. So here you can see my program uh, executes. Sorry, it's a little on the, there we go. Uh, you can see that it printed hello world. This is the output window. It doesn't have that same pop-up console that we had in C++. Um, so it pops up here for us, hello world. Now your first application, if you hold off in a moment, I'll show you how to link the JDK. But just a couple things here. So let's say I have a syntax error. If I go to run it, it tells me there's a build error. And if I say yes, it's going to run the last good execution. If I say no, it's not. It's just going to terminate and leave me here. So here, when it does run and execute, this was the actually the last good execution. But if I look at the build out tab down there, it's giving me that same error that it produced um, with the pop-up window telling me that there's something not right. Here it's telling me they believe the error to be on Java line 15. So if I counted down 15, you will find this is the 15th line and that we're missing a semicolon. The error is not always the exact one. You know, I could have 102 errors and fix it with just one character. So I'm going to put the semicolon back in. I'm going to run the project. It executes cleanly. And I know that it's a clean execution because the build output has no errors in it. So on your first execution, you had to download the JDK, but you need to link it to the JDK. When you hit run that very first time on your project, it will probably give you, hey, you need to link it to the JDK. And in order to find the JDK, it will give you the ability to browse for a pathway. Now I'm going to use the configure to show you that um, because mine's already linked. So if I go to the JDK, it will give me a chance to browse. I can actually browse through. So if I browse to my C drive, it will give you the chance. You'll go into the C drive, choose program files, choose JDK, and just choose the JDK 8.0 and hit OK. I'm not going to hit OK because I've already done that. OK, hit OK again, and then recompile your program, and it should execute. What you should see is the JDK version pop up here in the output window. In your first execution, it's not going to be there. 
Okay, so I can close the workspace. File close workspace closes everything out because I can't have multiple things open at the same time. Yes, I'm going to close all windows. It will bring me back to this window. Take notice it's added it to my recent list. So I can click on it. It will execute it. Now, what happens, though, if it's not on the list? So um, let's say I'm opening up jCreator for the first time and a project that I wrote a while ago is no longer in the list. How do I find it? Well, if we recall, there was a pathway that was created. So I'm going to go into my folders. <clears throat> I'm going to go into my C drive. And remember, I pointed out that it goes to users, goes to my NCSCADN. I'm going to go into documents, and you can see that folder was created with my jCreator projects. Now, if I ask you to email me something, you're not emailing me the entire project. So this was the one that we just created. What you're going to do is you're going to go into the folder that says source. That's that SRC represents source. I need the .java files. That's what you're going to send me is your .java file. You're not going to send me the whole folder. But to execute it, we're going to choose the .jcw. And if I click on him, now the first time through, I just got a brand new laptop. So the first time through, I hadn't run this. So I'm going to go look for jcreator. And I don't see it on my list. So I'm going to look for another app on my PC. And I'm going to go to the desktop. This is why I created the shortcut. So I'm going to choose jcreator, choose open. It now converted them to uh, jcreator.java types. And here we can see the program. Now, every time I go back through, though, and I want to find it from here, so let me open up a different test, you can see my JCW. It will now link all my projects that I created to the to there and I can open them. It doesn't ask me anymore for uh, what do you want to use to open it. So you're going to need to do that your very first time. And that's why you need to create the shortcut to the desktop so that you can execute that and find that application. So that those are the basics on how to open up a project in Java.